Hey, what is up? I am Brandon. I'm on the Inventables team and 2021 has been a really big year for Inventables, specifically for our software Easel. There have been a ton of updates and we thought we would recap some of the big ones you might have seen this year. Now we have both a free and a pro version of Easel and on the free side of things we've made a bunch of updates this year. So first is the addition of our third party machine catalog. Maybe you don't have an X-Carve or an X-Carve Pro, but maybe your CNC journey is starting out with something like this. This is a 3018 and there's actually a ton of different versions, makes and models of this machine with different properties. And we have brought in the most popular versions of those inside of Easel so that you can actually set up your third party machine. These will show up when you go through the machine setup process, but we've also added support for your home, one of the most popular manufacturers, and you actually find that directly in the machine dropdown. Now, work pieces are a really popular feature inside of Easel, and these basically allow you to create a bunch of different versions of your design or different designs all within the same project. You now have the ability to actually reorder these. So a good example of this is if you are creating a sign that is utilizing V carving. Directly in one of those work pieces, you'll be able to do a roughing pass and then a detail pass. You're going to have a roughing bit that's going to be maybe an eighth inch or a quarter inch straight bit. And then you're going to come back with a V-carve bit to do the details. But then once you actually have your design in the sign, you're going to want to cut your sign out from your material. And then you can just cut out the outline of your actual design. We've also added rapid retracts to easel. And this is the speed that your Z axis will retract after it makes a carve. So it's gonna pull back up and it's gonna to move to a new location and then plunge down. Before the plunge and the retract were actually the same value, but now the retract is equal to the rapid rate for your entire machine. Your overall carve time is going to be a lot less since you're not having to use the same feed rate for the retract that you need to use for the plunge. Now, another feature that is kind of in the same category is you now have the ability to define your origin safety height. And this is going to be different than your normal safety height. And all the safety height is, is when you actually do the retract, it's the distance above the material that the retract is gonna happen because you definitely wanna make sure you clear the material before you move over or the machine is gonna hit the material. Now, if you're using normal clamps to hold the material down, they're gonna come up higher than your actual material. And before you'd have to set your safety height to be above that. But now you can just set your origin safety height, which will just give you the distance that it does initially and then comes down. And then it's gonna use the safety height for the rest of the carve. And just like rapid retracts, this is going to speed up your carve time a good bit. But then you also get Get the added benefit of it being a lot safer and a lot less likely to run into your clamps because you can set a really big origin safety height and not worry about it slowing down your overall carve time for your project. You may have seen that we've actually launched a new X-Carve this year and inside of Easel we have the full setup process for that or any of the older X-Carves that you might own. Now we've been adding a bunch of new features and if you're like me there's a good chance that you might have missed some so we've actually added a features and tools and menu directly inside of Easel so you're able to jump in there see the new things that we've added and if something isn't working quite like you think it should you can actually get in contact directly with our Easel developers by going through that menu. There have been some general toolpath improvements across the board for things like pockets and profiles and these these are going to be another way to decrease the overall time that you're going to spend carving. We've also improved the security of Easel with SSL for all users. And then for some quick updates to go along with our third-party support, the actual connection to the machine has been improved. You've got better control of simulations inside of Easel, as you can show and hide things like your wasteboard and uncut areas, so you can send a rendered look to your client and they don't have to worry about what the machine looks like underneath. And we have a new machine control and an easier G-code download if you're exporting your design and you're sending it to another piece of software. We've also added direct links in the project menu. And if you've ever used our automatic tab placement in the past, you might know some of those locations might be a little bit hard to remove once you get your material out. That's been updated to make those automatic locations a lot easier to physically remove. Now, Easel Pro has added a ton of new features this year, all designed so you can make better products faster so that you can grow your business. This starts out with the addition of our Pro Design Library, where you can select from millions of ready to carve designs and pull those directly into your project. So you're gonna be able to get new ideas, bring those into your project and overall save time so you can actually get to carving. Now, in addition to the toolpath improvements we made to pockets and profiles, we've also made a ton of toolpath improvements to V carving. So if you've been V carving for a while, you've probably noticed a good drop in overall time when you're doing those V carve operations. And again, this is just another way that you can speed up the time from design to finished product. And so maybe you're in a 
a situation where you actually have multiple CNC's. So you can have a standard X-Carve or an X-Carve Pro, and all of those settings get saved inside of Easel. So regardless of what computer you use to connect, you can bring in the settings specific for your machine. And again, these don't have to be machines from Inventables, but you can bring in any third-party machine, and you can save your settings for that as well. And then a big feature is the ability to carve bigger than the work area of your machine, and that is through tiling. You've added in a whole new interface where you can define your tile dimensions, and then it walks you through how to pass the material through your machine so you can carve something out that is really big. And a good example of that is actually on our X-Carve Pro where you can drop in a full four by eight sheet of plywood, and you can do that basically with two tiles on a four by four machine, but then you can do the exact same thing on the X-Carve or any third party machine. Ramping is another big feature we've added into easel. So if you're plunging into your material, in the past it just goes directly down, but now it actually goes in a ramp. And you can set how aggressive you want that cut to be, basically what the angle is as it's going down. And this is great when you're plunging into any type of material, but especially harder material, and then carve out whatever shape or design. So the easel team has been working to improve this feature, even though it just got released this year. Now you might have a ton of projects inside of easel, and the workspaces inside of each project are great, but maybe you want to actually group those projects together. So we've added labels inside of Easel so that you can label your projects as different things and those can be grouped together so you can search for them and pull them up easier than before. If you have a bunch of different products with a bunch of different categories, you can now group and label those together to make them a lot easier to find. And then some quick updates for Easel Pro. We've actually added recommended cut settings for the X-Carve Pro, as well as the new X-Carve, so you can use our faster and our deeper feed rates when you're using one of our stronger machines. We've added several updates to the intro project that you go through when you set up your machine. For the X-Carve Pro, this includes a new planning project where you actually plane the entire wasteboard to make sure it is flat. And then overall, we made a few improvements to make it easier for you to go through so you can get your machine set up and running. And then finally, if you are carving something out where you're going all the way through your material, you might've run into a situation where there's always just a little bit left. And that could be because your material isn't uniform thickness the whole way through, or maybe your work bed needs to be planed. Now to help counteract that, you can add an additional depth to your carves so that you make sure you go through your material the entire way. So you can see there have been a ton of new updates that have come to Easel in 2021, and we can't wait to show you what we have coming in 2022.